following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville host Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. We are live here in the Wicked Weed studio. Check out our friends at WickedWeedBrewing.com. Wicked Weed Brewing, drink different. I'm Tank Spencer and he's Jeremy Green. And uh, the best case scenario for the New England Patriots is that reboots don't always suck. It doesn't always suck to just lather up and do it again with different characters. That's right. Because that's the mindset right now is that we went out and we spent all this money in free agency. We reloaded. Yes, there's a quarterback situation, but you know what? I, I think it's a. I think the fan base is coming around to Cam Newton doesn't need to be the He's quarterback. He's not the guy. Cam, it's it, Matt it, Jones. it should tell you something when Cam Newton came out earlier this week and said, I haven't been right since that shoulder injury in 2016. No shit. Uh, we've covered you. Yeah. We, we covered you in this market for years. I've said that forever. And weird how many Cam Newton apologists didn't come and go, oh, sorry. Sorry I told you to go get hit by a car <laughs> and that you didn't know shit, <laughs> that you're an idiot. But you you're can't a big doubt. hillbilly that looks like you belong in old brother. Where art thou? But you can't doubt the lion that's inside Cam Newton and he's going to have this rebirth and he's going to reclaim his glory because now he's healthy. No, he's not. He's not healthy. He's a battered 30-plus-year-old quarterback. What, what can you possibly hope is left for him, especially if you're a team that you honestly believe has playoff aspirations? What was it in the, uh, you know, uh, what was it, 11 touchdowns he threw last year, 10 touchdowns he threw last year that you saw that made you think, yeah, this is going to get better. This is definitely going to get better. I think he had 11 passing touchdowns and 10 rushing touchdowns. What? I'm, I'm going to That's level. grossness. I, I get a lot of flack for being a Patriots hater. Because mm-hmm. uh, you're a Jets all, fan. Uh, yeah. Let me be real. I'm going to, and you know what? For some Patriots fans, this is going to hurt your feelings. You're probably the team in the division that I give the least of a shit about because you're the least of a threat to me moving forward. Mm-hmm. That being said, the hate on them has gone too far. If you told me Mac Jones starts for this team week one, and I look at everything they have, because the offensive line is going to be pretty good. Yes. You've given him, you've given this rookie quarterback, uh, who, by the way, you have two backups that play exactly like him. So, you know, not trying to overthink you, Bill, (laughs) but you you have three quarterbacks that play exactly one, the the exact same way, and one that doesn't. You draw your own conclusions from that. Right. I think the line's going to be good. I don't think you have a left tackle. Isaiah Wynn, I, I have issues there, but I like Onwenu. I like uh, bringing back David Andrews, and I like Trent Brown being back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You've given him the tight ends. I still don't love the receivers, but I think you're going to be able to run the ball with Damian Harris. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite players in fantasy football this year, he's going way too low. Great. But steal. he is the running back into it. Yep. And then I look at the defense. I don't love the defense. I don't. You spent a lot of money, and I think you got a lot of guys that you paid too much for. However, it's better than it was last year, fact or fiction? Fact. No doubt. I don't love Judon. I've said that from Jump Street, Stephen Towers, Raven fan in the comments. He will tell you he's an overrated player. Mm-hmm. Yannick Ngakwe is the one he was sad to walk, watch walk out the door. Mm-hmm. But he will give you a pass rushing presence where you did not have that. You do still have Stephon Gilmore. You do still have J.C. Jackson. I look at the defense and go, I'm in like with it. I'm not in love with it. And then I look at the schedule. Have you really deep dived New England schedule? I have not. I I I mean, we did, but I I I have. have, I have slept since then, so I've forgotten. And and let's let's be really honest. (laughs) They get screwed on the late bye. Yeah. Because they had the last bye week of the year. Yeah, week 14. I could see a path this team makes the playoffs. Okay. Well, a lot of shit has to go right. Well, let's go down. Best case scenario, they're mm-hmm. going to beat Miami. Yeah. They'll beat New York. Not in New York. Not Early. in New York? Mm-mm. Not, I'm telling you. Mac Jones, the because I it, first of all, I think Mac Jones is going to play, play from Jump Street. Mm-hmm. Mac does not have the best army, doesn't throw the best spiral. I got news for you as somebody that, you know, I know the Jets pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, that stadium is a horror show for weak-armed quarterbacks, a Especially right around the time the fall starts. When is that? 
September. Yeah. That's the worst time they could have played the Jets, is early. Okay. Well, they'll get them at home. All uh, right, look, that's, they'll get them at I home think a few they weeks split later. that series. Right. All right, so you got Miami, New Orleans. Win. Not, not, not beating Tampa Bay. No. Nope. Uh, you got Houston. Win. Dallas. Could be a win. I like your defense, but I don't like their offense. Right. No. Said that backwards. I like your offense, but I don't like their defense. Okay. That took a second to register. Yeah, it's because I said it fucking uh, yeah. backwards. <laughs> uh, then you got at the Chargers, probably lost. The, uh, the West Coast swing young quarterback, I don't love it. Right. Uh, then you got at Carolina. Could be a win. win. Uh, Cleveland, not going to win. Probably a loss, but it is in yep. Foxborough. And it's Bill scheming against an average quarterback. Dome down in Atlanta. Win. Uh, then at home against Tennessee. And they're not winning that. I, you chalked that up quicker than I did. At I can Buffalo. See, I can see them beating Tennessee in New England. At, but you're not going to Buffalo winning. Sorry. <laughs> no. Monday Night Football in Buffalo. Yeah, you're not winning. Then you got to go to Indianapolis. That could be a win. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's, that's, that's a stretch. But since we're going best case scenario, we'll chalk it up. Uh, then against Buffalo at home. Could be a win. Could be a win. They always play tough in the division, mm-hmm. regardless uh, of where these teams are. Jacksonville, that's 10. And then you got at Miami to end the season. It's 11. Could be 11. Could be 11 wins. This team could make the playoffs. Now, do a lot of things have to go right? Absolutely. Yes, that's best case scenario across the board. Mac Jones comes in. He is the guy that they want to be. They, they, he's the game manager that they are seeking to make this offense work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your your weapons have to be really good on this. Uh, I, I don't necessarily agree with you. Really? You have For Mac to Jones be, to be good. His weapons have to be really good. Well, you've got two tight ends that are quarterback's best friend. Yes. I see a path that this is a very 12 personnel, old school looking offense with uh, uh, Ramondre Stevenson playing fullback in front of Damian Harris. Mm-hmm. They run the ball a shitload. I, I just see a path that this is an old school looking mm-hmm. defensive first three yards in a cloud of dust Chippy. team. Yeah. And I could see a path that that's not bad. I see a path that that's playoff contender. I could agree with that. Play solid defense and, you know, get your, you know, just accumulate first downs over and over and over again. That's kind of how they set up this team. Mm -hmm. You gave them two tight ends. You got Jacoby Myers is the, I mean, he's the best receiver that they have on this team, I believe. I think he's better than Nelson Aguilar. Um, But you've got him who is good in short range. Nelson Aguilar is as well. Kendrick Bourne. I think that their plan is to just cut the field 10 yards at a time and we'll run the three best plays possible (laughs) and just accumulate first downs and chip our way down the field and the defense is going to be good enough. I don't see this team ever getting into a shootout. I don't see them really ever going into a 35-38 run and gun with somebody else. I don't know. I think it's going to be smash mouth, you know, Small scores. Now, conversely, worst case scenario for the Miami or for the uh, New England Patriots. Money doesn't buy happiness. Nope. No, nope. you overpaid for a bunch a of dudes. A bunch of dudes. Jude on you overpaid. Hunter Henry's fragile as shit. Johnny Smith's never had more than six hundred and some odd yards in a season. Yep. Nelson Aguilar's had one decent year in his life. Other than that, he's been an uh, an injury prone, drop prone wide receiver. And here's something I've yet to hear anybody say. You just took him out of a dome in Vegas and put him into Foxborough. What did he struggle with so much in Philadelphia? The wind. Mm-hmm. That's why his hands were so bad, because the ball moves, and he couldn't deal with it. Do you not find it strange that the first year of his career that he ever played 10 games in a dome, uh, eight at home, two on the road? Mm-hmm. That was the best year he ever had? Is that not weird to you? Uh, and this is not me being a hater. This is just me being honest. Uh, Kendrick Bourne, he's a bit player. You have a bunch of bit player wide receivers. Mm-hmm. Here's where this could go shitstorm for New England. A, you start Cam Newton. Because I got news for you. You start Cam Newton, let's go back to that old schedule. Uh, you start Cam Newton, you lose to Miami. You probably lose in New York. Rob Salah scheming against Cam Newton. A guy that scares you in no way, beating him over the top. Mm -hmm. And you've got all of these toys to play with that you signed in free agency. 
uh, yeah, you're probably going to lose that game with Cam Newton. I can see a path you lose to New Orleans. You're going to lose to Tampa Bay. You could be on four. Mm -hmm. I don't see any way Cam Newton plays more than four games because then I see a path of at Houston, uh, home to Dallas, home to the Jets before a Chargers, Panthers, Browns, Falcons, Titans, Buffalo stretch. That's where you put in Mac Jones. Yeah. I don't see a path that Cam Newton plays more than four games. So, to me, that's the worst-case scenario. You start 0-4 with Cam Newton, and then you have to acclimate Mac Jones on the fly, get the reps in, all of the things. Here's, the, here's where this could go sideways. You play a Miami team that could have a good offense. They have weapons. Mm -hmm. New Orleans could have a good offense. They don't have weapons, but they got a big-arm quarterback and one of the best running backs in the league. Mm -hmm. Tampa, Dallas, the Chargers. I like the Carolina offense this year. Cleveland Browns offense. Atlanta Falcons offense. Tennessee Titans offense. Buffalo Button. That's a lot of good offenses. Mm -hmm. If your defense is not good, you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. Either way. Either way. Because you're going to try to grind out games against teams that can outscore you. That's how this could go badly. Judon's not the edge, the edge presence you thought he would be. Gilmore regresses another year with age. Uh, or he's not on the team. He yeah. may just say the hell with it and go, I don't want to be here. That's the I've one heard thing. he doesn't want to be here, period. That's, that's the one thing you got to factor into this is what's going to happen with Stephon Gilmore. No Stephon, Stephon Gilmore, Gilmore is pissed trouble. off. He is pissed off that he's not one of the highest paid corners in the league and he wants a new deal today. He is. Huh? He is. He's like eight. He wants to be in the top three. No, I thought he was not in the top ten. He was like 11 he may have or been, something. He may have I think been we did. Phased out that I point. think we talked about this uh, the other day. We did, but I he, thought he was eight. He ended up, uh, no, he wasn't even in the top 10. Somebody put out a list, I think it was the NFL Network, put out a list of the top 10 highest paid corners in the league, and Stephon Gilmore was like $100,000 behind He's whoever 13. was in 10th. He's okay. 13. He was close. But he believes that he needs to be one of the highest paid in the league. So he wants a new deal. You know, I thought they would have found a trade partner for him in the offseason. But they, they, they don't want to move him because Bill no. knows I need that guy. Well, yeah. J.C. Jackson can't be the one. I like J.C. Jackson. I think he can be a, a lovely, you know, a, a Robin to the Batman of Stephon Gilmore. I don't think he's a one. And I think if you cast him that way, you're going to be in trouble. Right. But that wasn't, we need to get rid of this guy. It's the only thing of protecting the investment. Get something out of him before he walks or before he holds out or whatever. If he's that disgruntled, maybe we got to get him out of town. You I, have I feel a like that was, a, that was a move that they could have made where they could have got something in return. You have a tremendous secondary with Gilmore, Jonathan Jones, J.C. Jackson, McCordy, and Kyle Duggar. That's a tremendous secondary. Mm -hmm. Move everybody up one spot. Not as tremendous as it was. That's the reason they haven't made a move on Gilmore. Right. They know he's disgruntled. I've heard it from too many people. And so somebody's telling somebody something. Mm -hmm. Hell, I, I read it the other day on Twitter from a guy that sat next to him on an airplane. <laughs> it's not like he's being real coy about this. Right. But the reason you haven't made a move is that you're going best case scenario. Best case for Bill tonight, make another run. If Stefan's right, he's the one. Mac Jones can come in, be the game manager, be Brady Light. Just short, accurate passing game, 70% completions, never turn the ball over, run the ball down your throat, play really good defense. Conversely, if you can't outscore teams and you don't have that secondary, if you don't have that pass rush, now you're bringing a knife to a gunfight. And you're trying to do this old school, school grinded out shit against teams that can just outscore you. Because the schedule did not do you any favors. Yeah. You know? and if you wondered where the schedule luck went, uh, it's in Tampa Bay with him. So... Uh, it's Brady, not Belichick, that gets right. just scheduled gifts every year. That's right. So, I, I, worst case scenario, I would say New England's six and eleven. I would agree. Uh, best case scenario, I'd say they're eleven and six. They have one of the widest ranges for me, uh, but I would say it's more likely they end up about nine and eight as probably the eighth or ninth team in the AFC. Mm -hmm. I put them in Pittsburgh real close to. Each I other. could see them right on the right right on the <coughs> other side of the playoffs, just being. In that position, and then we may get to a point where they've, there's four weeks left in the season and they got to win out, and they'll be in a playoff position. Yeah, could possibly be there. Yeah, that's not right. No, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying they could be that close to being in contention, contention for the playoffs. I think it's more, more likely they're 8-9 and nine or 9-8. Nine and eight. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know, the one year that we have seen so far, 
without Tom Brady and Bill Belichick being together has most definitely swung Tom or Tom Brady's way. And are we underselling Bill Belichick? Maybe, but I doubt it. I'm starting to feel like his run as one of the greatest coaches, I mean, he will always be one of the greatest coaches in NFL history. Nobody can take that away from him. But what I'm saying is being an effective coach on the field for the way the game is played today, this is his last shot to do so. You look at this defense. You just look at the names on the defense and what you know about these guys. This looks like a Bill Belichick defense. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of hard-nosed, blue-collar kind of guys mm -hmm. that there is, you know, you, you got the one star and then you just got guys who do shit. They do all the little things. I could very well see this team having some success this year, but it's only if they make a major change at the top. And by the top, I mean quarterback. Mm -hmm. Your path is Mac Jones. Stick to that path. Don't try to reinvent the wheel and re reinvigorate a guy who hasn't been the same since his MVP run six years ago. Yep just not gonna happen.